I've just got back to England from Brussels, where I had a meeting this morning with Field Marshal Montgomery. There was an earlier one with General Eisenhower. They both feel, as I do, that when the Field Marshal's plan has succeeded, we should be able to end the war by Christmas in less than 100 days. Actually, the plan's really very simple. We're going to fly 35,000 men 300 miles and drop them behind enemy lines. It'll be the largest airborne operation ever mounted. <laughs> Quite frankly, this kind of thing's never been attempted before. Just where is this all going to take place? Holland. And when? I'm coming to that now. Right. The ground forces. 30 Corps, commanded by General Horrocks. 20,000 vehicles. And this, as you know, is the German front line there. Now, we're going to lay a carpet, as it were, of airborne troops over which 30th Corps can pass. We shall seize the bridges. It's all a question of bridges with thunderclap surprise and hold them until they can be secured. Now, first of all, General Maxwell Taylor, Eindhoven. You take and hold the bridges there with 101st. General Gavin, with your 82nd, you get Nijmegen. You take and hold the bridges. And Roy, you get the prize, Arnhem. Arnhem Bridge. And you hold it. For how long? Well, once he shows me that 30 Corps will do the 63 miles in uh, two days. 63 miles in two days? Yeah, they ought to be able to handle it. Oh, I'm sorry. General Sosavaska, you go with your Polish brigade with Roy Urquhart. I'm so sorry. Roy. When you've uh, secured your bridge and 30th Corps have got across it, we can turn east right into the industrial heart of Germany, the Ruhr. Once we control their factories, there's not very much they can do about it. And that is the plan. And we go next Sunday. Seven days? Why not? The sooner we go, the better. We've got them on the run. Is something troubling you, General Sosovoski? I've said nothing. Precisely. Your silence is the thunderous. General Browning, I... I am a Pole. Considered by some to be smart. If that is so, it makes me member of a true minority group. Minority groups are more comfortable in silence. Really? I should have thought the opposite was true. But you do disapprove. I am thrilled that your great uh, Field Marshal Montgomery has devised such a plan. I promise you, I'd be properly ecstatic if it works. When it works? Of course. When it works. Thank you. Well, now let's get down to the details. First thing, of course, we shall have to have a high level... Bei dieser Frontlager, wer wird den Angriff führen? Montgomery or Patton? Mudel, was meinen Sie? Patton. Das ist der beste Mann, den Sie haben. Patton wird den Angriff führen. Mir persönlich wäre ja Montgomery lieber gewesen, aber so dumm ist nicht einmal heißen. Aber. <lacht> Bittrichs Panzertruppen brauchen etwas Ruhe, wenn Sie Patton zurückschlagen sollen. Natürlich. Wir sollten Sie zurückziehen. Irgendwo hin, wo es sicher ist. Sicher, ruhig und abgelegen. Aber wo? Arnhem. Arnhem. 